In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to control some regular DC motors using the dynamic shield on an Arduino Do with the Grove H-Bridge control module. I'm in the process of building a Star Wars MSE6 mouse droid and I'm using this as the motor unit for that robot. The base kit is a DF robot four-wheel drive unit. The Grove motor module can control two DC or stepper motors. The Arduino communicates to the controller through the I2C lines. The DO actually comes with two I2C lines and the Dynamic Shield has Grove connectors for both of them. One here and one here. We'll be using the I2C0 line for this video. The Grove Motor Shield has a terminal block for connecting each one of the motors and another block for connecting your power. The nice thing about this module is that you can connect your battery directly to your motor drive and it will provide a 5 volt signal for powering your Arduino and shield as well. One thing to note here is that you want to make sure you get the latest 1.3 version of this motor board. I accidentally bought a version 1 at first and it didn't work. The later one worked fine though. I've wired the left motors to each other and the right motors together as well. Then we need to connect the left motors to one of the blocks and the right motors to the other. For this test I'm going to be using a regular power supply instead of a battery. I have a 2.5 millimeter barrel jack connector that I'm going to hook into the battery block. Make sure you put it in with the correct polarity though. Next let's plug the module to the I2C Grove connector on the shield. Then let's plug in the USB connector for our Arduino so we can program it. Plug it into the programming port of the DO. Then connect our 12 volt power. And that's it for our hardware. Now let's open the I2C motor driver demo code sketch that's located in the sketches MSC6 droid folder of the repo. The first thing this sketch does is include the wire library so we can use the I2C lines. Then it defines some constants for the motor commands. It then starts up the wire library and the debug serial lines. In the loop method it calls the motor speed set and direction set commands to control the motors. It causes the motors to rotate one way and then another at different speeds. When you look at those methods, you can see that they're sending some commands to the module through the I2C lines. Now let's download our sketch and watch it in action. And that's all that's required to get our DC motors up and operational. I'll have another video later showing how to connect a Bluetooth receiver to the Arduino to allow you to control the speed and direction of the motors from an Android app. If you like the Dynamic Shield, then please support my Kickstarter for it so I can get these boards produced and available to others for use.
Thanks for watching.